Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a live swatch and review of the brand new line from Essie called Treat Love in Color. So this line was just launched and they have 24 brand new colors in this formula. So basically the Treat Love in Color formula is an advanced one-step care and color formula. Fusing the benefits of active collagen and Camellia X Ex extract ingredients with Essie's iconic colors and it says that in just one week nails are instantly brighter and stronger. So this is just a swatch and review video of the actual formula. Later on down the road on my channel and on my blog EA Beauty XO, you can check out the link below, I am going to do a full post about how I think this uh, formula actually works for strengthening and brightening nails but it will take a week so at some point in the future I am going to be using these and it says it is a one step so I'm just assuming that you don't need a base or top coat with these uh, so yeah we're just gonna get into the swatches and by the way these polishes were sent to me as a preen.me VIP partner so just throwing that out there, but this review is going to be my 100% honest opinion. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Alright, so this first shade is called On the Mauve, or On the Mauve, however you say that word. I've never been able to say it right. But can we first just talk about this new Essie brush? I have been waiting for Essie to start using the wider brush instead of that thinner brush which I mean I don't hate their thin brush but I'm a bigger I'm a fan of the bigger wider brush so this I'm, I'm already happy with these polishes um this one is a little bit on the sheer side but it's not streaky at all so it is a very even application and the color is really nice and natural so yeah, there is the first coat of On The Mauve, or Mauve. Again, I'm sorry if I'm butchering that word. Alright, so here's the second coat of this one. And for being so sheer on that first coat, I really do think this one covers completely in two. Let me do the rest of my nails, but I really do think this one does cover completely in two coats definitely did on my middle finger so we're just gonna go with two coats formula seems to be amazing really creamy super easy to work with like it's not running down my the sides of my nail or anything so really even application I even have some ridges in my nails and it's just it's looking really beautiful on my nails so I'm really pleased with this color and so far the formula is great so there is the first or the two coats of On The Mauve. Alright, so I think Essie is actually trying to torture me because this gorgeous shade is called <laughs> Movitation, Movitation, Motivation. It's supposed to be motivation, but it's that horrible mauve or mauve word. You know what? I'm going to look it up online in the second coat. I'm going to say it right. <laughs> but anyway, getting back to the polish. This one has an excellent buttery, smooth, creamy formula. Again, loving that wider brush for application. And this one covers amazing on that first coat. I am going to do a second coat just to see if it changes the color and just to cover a little bit of those more sheer areas. But I'm obsessed with this color. It's super pretty. And I just need to say the name right. Alright, so I have consulted YouTube and the internet. And it appears this word is called, or is said, mauve. So the name of this polish would be Movetivation. Which makes a lot of sense because it goes with the name. So, I feel better about that. Now I'm saying it right. So here's the second coat of Movetivation. Covers amazing on the second coat. I'm seriously obsessed with these colors and I am going to be doing a wear test of these polishes so I am going to be wearing these polishes for a week seeing if my nails feel stronger and healthier and then I will be doing a blog post about them. So if you don't know I do have a blog it's EAB or it's EA Beauty XO. 
So I will leave the link below in the description box for that. And then once I actually do the blog post for this polish or these polishes, I will put the link in the description box for that. So I don't know if you're watching this video a couple weeks from the post date, then I probably do have the blog post up already. So definitely check that out. Check out my blog anyway, because I have fun posts on there. So EA Beauty XO. Anyway. Here is two coats of mauve tivation and I am obsessed. Super pretty. This one is called Pinked to Perfection. And this one is a really pretty cream. I keep getting a little fuzzy in there. Anyway. Formula seems to be okay. It's a little bit streaky on that first coat. I am hoping that a second coat covers them all up. But this color is absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, I am really excited to see if these do hold up. Because I was looking at the instructions and it does say just to apply two coats. It doesn't say anything about using a base coat or anything. So when I do my wear test, I'm going to try to not use a base coat. I'm going to be using a lighter color like this so it doesn't stain my nails, but I am going to be interested to see if it does last a long time without a base coat and if it does help my nails because, you know, I live in a drier climate. So they are a little bit brittle. They do peel more than I would like them to. So if this is the answer to all my prayers, I'm going to be really excited about that. So... Yeah, there is the first coat of Pinked to Perfection. So here is the second coat of Pinked to Perfection. For some reason, I'm not able to paint this one very well on my nails. Anyway, such a gorgeous pink shade. I love pale pinks like this, especially since it is spring now, even though the weather doesn't like to cooperate with spring. It is spring, so I love pastel pale colors like this. This one does cover really well on the second coat. You can see there are still a few streaks, nothing horrible. Uh, but I think I am going to do just a thin third coat just to cover all of that up. And this one does dry super fast, so three coats is fine. But yeah, I am going to do three coats just to cover up a little bit of that patchiness. But this formula is really great. Alright, so here is the third coat of Pinked to Perfection. And it's just because I am a perfectionist, almost like the name implies. I did want to do the third coat just to make it look perfect, make it look really nice and clean. I don't think on the camera you could probably see those patches, but they were just bothering me in real life. So the third coat does cover them up super nicely. And I'm obsessed with how this one looks on my nails. Oh, so gorgeous. So there is three coats of Pinked to Perfection. This grayish cream is called Right Hooked. This one has a fantastic cream formula. Covers super well on that first coat, so you know it's going to be completely opaque in two, because it's pretty much completely opaque in one. I love these colors that I got super into them because they're springy but they're also like perfect for all of the seasons i can get a lot of wear out of them super gorge so there is one coat of right hooked here's the second coat of right hooked honestly the formula on this one is so incredible so buttery smooth and i can't get over how much i love this brush again not that i don't like the other SC brush, you know, the thinner one, but I just personally do prefer a wider brush when painting my nails just because I feel like I have more control. You can get more of that nail surface, but anyway, love this gray color. So there is two coats of Right Hooked. This shade is called Work for the Glow. And I love this one. There's some really pretty shimmer in there. It's just a really pretty pale pink color. Which I love, again, for spring. I think this one's me super pretty. I can see myself wearing this one a lot. 
I never used to be the biggest fan of pink, but I have turned a corner, I guess, if that's the expression. I don't know, but anyway, I really like this one. It's super pretty. So it is going to need two coats. It's a little bit patchy, nothing horrible. I know two coats will cover that up really nicely. So there's the first coat of Work for the Glow. So here's the second coat of Work for the Glow. And as predicted, this one covers really nicely in two coats. I just love how subtle that shimmer is, but it does look really nice on the nail. But like I said, it is subtle, so it's nothing like in your face super shimmery. It just gives your nails, I mean, kind of like the name implies, a little bit of a glow. And I think it's so pretty. So there is two coats of work for the glow. This shade is called Glowing Strong. This is another buttery, smooth, cream finish. Really pretty on the nails. I love peachy shades like this. Again, perfect for spring and summer. And I've just always been a really big fan of shades like this. So, I mean, this color isn't unique to my collection at all. But the formula is because it's supposed to be really good for your nails. So... Again, I'll be testing that out and seeing what my finals, final feelings are, but so far, it looks really nice. So I will do two coats, but there's the first coat of Glowing Strong. The second coat of Glowing Strong. This one does cover completely in two coats. Super duper pretty. This one will also be really great for nail art as well, because it is super pigmented and has a great formula. I don't know, I just really love colors like this. But you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below. I think it's super pretty. So there's two coats of Glowing Strong. This one is called Indigo For It. And this one's a really, really pretty lighter blue. I, I don't know if I would say this is indigo but it's a fun name maybe a pale indigo i don't know what indigo really is i always thought it was like a cross between blue and purple anyway this one has a great formula they're in this collection i guess i'd say all of the creams are very consistent in formula so i know this one's going to cover in two coats and be really pretty and really nice so yeah, there is the first coat of Indigo for it. So here's the second coat of Indigo for it. And this one covers completely and beautifully in two coats. Really pretty color. Again, perfect for spring. I always feel like I'm repeating myself, but a lot of this is repetitive. I mean, the formula is very consistent. The color is pretty consistent for spring, but also all seasons. And I mean, a really true test of these polishes is how long they wear and if they do what they say they're supposed to do and be like strengthening and help with nail growth or just help your nails look better, help with peeling and things like that. So again, I will be posting a blog post about that. Maybe I'll even do a video about it sometime in the future, but swatching so far, so good. So this shade is called Minimally Modest, and this is supposed to be a sheer polish, almost like a your nails but better type of polish. So I am going to do two coats just to see if like anything really happens, but it is meant to be sheer, so this is a great one for just throwing on one coat to protect your nails, maybe even like before you shower, before you're exposed to water, and even just to make your nails look pretty and healthy. So there is one coat of Minimally Modest. Here's the second coat of Minimally Modest. And this one does kind of just add a little bit more of that sheer pink color to the nail, but doesn't do anything crazy. I mean, if I, I could do three coats and build it up even more, but 
personally, I just think it's kind of pointless because this one is meant to be sheer and just meant to make your nails look really, really pretty. So I'm going to leave it at two. I think it looks really pretty. And I love how this formula is super even. You can't see any streaking at all or patchiness. It's just very sheer and very gorgeous. And this one would also be a great base for a French manicure. Um, so yeah, there is two coats of Minimally Modest. This gorgeous lilac shade is called Daytime Dreamer, and I am obsessed with this color. I always lean towards polishes like this in my collection for spring. You'll pretty much always find me wearing a color like this on my nails. So I mean it's not completely unique to my collection. I have a lot of colors like this, a lot of polishes like this because it is one of my favorite colors to wear on my nails. So. Yeah, but I'm not mad about it. I love colors like this. So there's the first coat of Daytime Dreamer. Here's the second coat of Daytime Dreamer. This one is just such a beautiful, buttery, smooth, pastel purple color. Let me get that fuzzy out of there. But yeah, seriously love this one. I'm definitely going to be wearing this one a lot. Oh my god, there's just so many fuzzies on my nails. It's driving me crazy. Oh, Sorry, this is not the best swatch, even though it's probably my favorite color in these polishes I got. <laughs> Apologize for all those fuzzies. Hopefully they're gone. But yeah, like I was saying, super buttery, super smooth, easy to work with, great formula, and gorgeous color. So there is two coats of Daytime Dreamer. So this color is called In The Balance, and this is like a whitish gray polish with some of that silvery shimmer in there. Even with that first nail I did, this formula is incredibly good, and I'm really digging the color. I really think it's super pretty. Again, perfect for spring, sorry I keep repeating myself, but... I mean, and this one would be great for winter, too, because it's more like a, a whitish snow color, but really pretty. Love that shimmer in there. So there is one coat of In The Balance. Here's the second coat of In The Balance. I seriously can't get over how pretty all of these colors are. Like, a lot of them, if I saw them on the store shelf, I just feel like I would have looked past and never really thought about picking up and buying them but now I'm realizing I'm just <laughs> in love with a lot of different shades so yeah this one is gorgeous there's two coats of in the balance and I hope you guys like this one as much as I do because it is so pretty in person and hopefully it's showing up on camera this polish is called can't hardly wait and it's a really dark navy blue color, like super dark, amazing opacity on this one. It is completely opaque on the first coat, but I am going to do two, just because that's what I always like to do. But this one is crazy good. That formula is super buttery smooth, amazing to work with. And this is just such a pretty color. I'm seriously so surprised with like all of these. I love all of them, but I think they look really nice on the nail. And yeah, just really easy to work with. So there's the first coat of Can't Hardly Wait. Here's the second coat of Can't Hardly Wait. It really doesn't need the second coat, but it's always something... I do just cause, but I really don't know what else to say about these polishes at this point. I feel like I've said everything that I needed to. Hopefully, I just, I'm really in love with these and yeah, so there is two coats of Can't Hardly Wait. Alright, so last but not least is this shade called Time to Unwind. And it is a gorgeous gray cream base with a little bit of fuchsia shimmer in there. 
And this one, number one, come, covers amazingly on that first coat. Absolutely gorgeous polish. That shimmer is really subtle, but it sh you can still see it on the nail, which I really love. Yeah, that just, the formula is amazing on this one. So, yeah, two coats. I mean, it is completely opaque. It's not streaky or sheer at all. But I am going to do two coats just to make that color a little bit darker. But, yeah, there is the first coat of Time to Unwind. So here's the second coat of Time to Unwind. And, of course, that second coat is just to maybe make the color a little bit darker. It doesn't do anything to the opacity because it is completely opaque on that first coat. And yeah, I just, I don't really have anything else to say about these. I loved all of these colors. All the formulas were absolutely incredible. And yeah, I mean, there you have it. There is two coats of time to unwind. Alright, so that was it for my live swatch and review of the brand new line from Essie called Treat Love and Color. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to let me know in the comments below what your favorite shade I swatched was. I was honestly really digging all of these. I especially love these two, but honestly all these are so gorgeous, especially for spring and even summer, which is coming up, but they're great for every season, and especially since it was just winter my nails are quite dry and brittle, so I aim to be trying out this formula to see if it actually does help my nails, and definitely check out my blog. The link will be below, and sometime soon I will have a blog post about these polishes, and maybe even a YouTube video. Not sure yet, but anyway, sorry for ranting. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and make sure to hit the notification bell so you can be notified anytime I upload a new video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!